Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. You reckon this is big enough to make a solar collector? I want to take and hollow it out, take this end cap off, pull out the glass and the filament right there, fill it full of water, and see if I can get enough of a focal point out of it to ignite some char cloth. Now, if you're worried about the glass breaking and cutting your hands or glad pieces of glass flying in your eyes, you'll definitely want to wear gloves and safety glasses. Let's give it a try. First thing, I'm going to take off this solder point. Then this black insulator right here is glass, so you'll have to be careful with it also. You don't have to take the metal off, but sometimes it comes off. a lip sort of a lip around there that you can break to get a big enough hole to get all of that out of there <clears throat> and there's the filament so Let me get some water. All right. Let's see if we can fill that little thing up. That's full to the top. <clears throat> see if we can get a focal point out of it now. And see if the focal point is hot enough. See if we can uh, ignite the char cloth. I didn't think about using this curve right here. Let's see if that curve can produce for us. Well, we're not done. Let's let an hour go by, let the sun get a little higher in the sky, which means it'll go through more water. I can't tell you that it that the rays going through more water is gonna make it stronger, but I do wanna just try it in about an hour. See if we can make it work. All right, it's an hour later. Our first two tries was at 10.30, and now it's 11.30, so let's see if we got a hotter focal point. 
Let me just try some different positions. Maybe a little steeper angle, a little less a bit less of an angle, and then come back down here and try this bottom curve again. I think the curve we're gonna have to use is this upper curve. So it comes through this convex area and then through the water and through the concave glass to a focal point. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> I'm trying to get an angle to where you can see it. Now I'll be using 12 o'clock sun and I'm gonna wrap this around my finger to help me feel when I have the focal point just right. Let's try it. 12 o'clock sun. I guess the sun's over this way more. All right, let's try some charred punk wood and some 1230 sun. See if that, see if that's any better. The thing with the char cloth is I could feel the heat on my finger coming through the char cloth. And even though I wasn't moving, the heat would stop. So I moved the focal point over to another clean part of the char cloth that hadn't received any focal point and it did the same thing again. So something about the char cloth as it starts to absorb heat and get up to uh, igniting temperature, something stops that. So hopefully this charred punk wood, which is blacker, maybe it'll just keep on absorbing heat and get hotter and hotter until it ignites. Wouldn't that be something if we could actually definitively say that charred punk wood is more ignitable than char cloth? It may just be by a few degrees, but it would be interesting to find that out, wouldn't it? Now that's a good hot focal point. Let's see if we get ignition. I think, I think it's ignited. It is ignited. 12.30 sun, the charred punk wood did. What the charred cloth couldn't do. Gotta stick it in there for right now. Let me uh, set you back up to see what's going on. And go ahead and ignite this other piece of charred punk wood off of there. And I had these leaves in my pocket because I knew I'd have to get to them pretty quickly. Yeah, it transferred over to this one. Let's do this one again. It should it should work again. Don't let that wind bring it to flames. Let me get some pine needles this time. It'll be easier to control. Hold on. All right, I got some more punk wood here. Let's see if we can recreate it. Without any stop and go. I think the difference is the height of the sun in the sky. 
because that is a really bright looking focal point on that charred punk wood. And it's ignited. Sorry about all the sun, I know you can't see it. Well, good. I'm glad I could do all that work and show you all that advanced video. And then we're able to finish off with some successful ignitions. Such a small solar collector. I really had my doubts about it. I'm glad that it, uh, that it has worked out this well. Winter time, so the sun is a lot lower on the horizon than usual. But uh, how about that? How about that? I love it. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.